Hi guys, Brittany here. So I have to get ready for my next big day class. Today, which is Sunday and you might not see this, we're doing our all day essential oil class, but our next all day class is our all day medicine making class. It is awesome because you get to learn how to make herbal tinctures, uh, fire cider, um, we make an herbal bitters, we make a Shisandra wine. Oh my gosh, what else do we make? So many fun things. Uh, I already said fire cider, and we are going to make a pain salve. So this time, we're gonna make our pain salve with Arnica. So I thought that this would be a wonderful time since I need to prepare for the class. It's on October 22nd. You wanna start preparing your herbal infused oils. So what's an herbal infused oil? An herbal infused oil is using a carrier oil. Today, I'm gonna to use grapeseed. And you are going to put the herbs soaked in the oil. And what's going to happen is the constituents are going to drive out into the oil. Now let's be clear. You can't just go into my herb store, pick any herb and make a therapeutic essential oil. There's traditional herbs that we use like comfrey, calendula, arnica, St. John's wort. Some of them need to be fresh. Some of, some of them can be dried. So for this pain oil that is amazing, we are going to use dried arnica. I already put this in here because arnica flies all over the place and it's like a hot mess. We're also going to put in, so this is a cup. We're also gonna put in a quarter cup of chaparral. So why do I use the chaparral? There's a couple different reasons. Traditionally, chaparral is used for pain. Um, also, it is very antiseptic. So we use this for my other salve that we make in our all day body care making class that we make a general salve for healing. But the reason we also put chaparral in here is to preserve our sap. So chaparral, because it is so antiseptic, it actually will preserve the salve so that the salve will last for years to come. So it's almost like a nice little preservative. Plus it makes it more of a desert plant. Um, so we're gonna put that in there. Then we're going to pour a cup and a half so you wanna make sure that your oils or your herbs are completely covered by your oil. So this is a cup. And then here's our half cup. So it's gonna soak in there. So you don't have to make this much if you're making smaller batches, but if you want to make this maybe for gifts for the holidays or something like that, you might want to make a bunch um, and then you can just give them away or maybe you're a massage therapist or something like that. It would be nice to have a big batch of it because you could use it on your clients. So now I'm just shaking this. So I'm just macerating it a little bit so you can see um, that the oil is on top of there. Now, if this sucks up some of the oil, we can always go in and just put a little bit more oil. But as I can see it right now, there's a, enough oil on top of it, but I'm going to definitely watch it and make sure that the Arnica doesn't suck up the oil and we need to put a little bit more. But if we do, we just like pop a little, you know, extra pump in. Even if you don't have the grape seed because you already bought it, you could always use some of your nice avocado um, oil just to put a little extra in or a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil has kind of a strong smell, so I like to use grape seed um, because I like some of the essential oils that we're going to put in this salve afterwards. So this is going to be our infused oil. Then if any of you join us, but if you come to class, um, we are going to uh, strain this out, then we're gonna warm it up, put some beeswax in it, and then we're gonna put some menthol, some copaiba, um, some wintergreen, I think maybe some peppermint, so a whole blend of different essential oils with the infused oil for our salve, and then you all get to take it home. But if you wanna make it at home, you can definitely start with this. And then every day we're gonna think happy, happy thoughts, think about, oh, this is gonna heal all my class, can't wait for them to get it um, when we shake it. 
And just remember, always, always, always put a label on it, right? And always put the date too, which I did not do, which I will do. Just so you know when you made it, because time goes by so fast and then it's sitting on the window seal too long. You wanna like actually strain it and do something with it. So um, I actually put pain oil and then what is in it. And then you just put that on there and you've got your infused oil. So I hope some of you can join us for our all day class on October 22nd with Natalia and I, and some someone is going to be pressing this awesome oil out and all of you guys are going to get um, a salve to take home to try. So if you have any questions, please make a comment and I am happy to answer any questions at all. Thank you for joining me and happy, well, I'm sure it'll be Monday, but for me right now, happy Sunday. Okay, have a great day. Bye.